seven with nobody out. The Yanks with a formidable lead at the top of their division. Singy, they got to be feeling pretty close to invincible. Yeah, and that can also be sort of a dangerous situation because if complacency creeps in, and all of a sudden you run into a hot the team, batter. especially when the you've got baseman. big expectations John. in the postseason, John. you could go home really disappointed. Move to second, Higashioka back in on a dive. And a sack bunt here. Ramirez zips it across, out on the sack bunt. Of course, it's fine to play well early on, but you really want to be peaking in the now fall when it really matters. So digging in, Aaron Judge, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Rizzo in now. Takes ball one off the plate. The bases are full for the New York Yankees. Next offering is in for a strike. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. The 1-1. One, one. In the air, out towards left center. Rizzo out of the play. And there are two down. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. This guy with light tower power. First offering misses badly for ball one. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. That one pushed foul. And a pitch. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Giancarlo Stant with a blast. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add to the lead. It's 5 zip. Singing, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he has really seen the ball well in this one. Well, a great job here of staying within himself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in a couple. So stay focused on that. Well, he does more than just a knock. It's the grand slam to drive in for. Really good job at the play. Now here's Aaron Hicks. The switch hitter batting right. Now batting the seventh field. Aaron Strike on the inside corner. Well, at least he's got a clean slate after that grand slam. Nothing to think about on the bases, so he can really go after the hitter and just approach this like it's a clean inning, get the outs that you need, and get back into the dugout. Next ball one misses. Back. One ball, one strike. And another ball. One strike. 2-1 now. Foul ball there. And that one almost got him. Swing and a ball popped up. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Back-to-back -back base hits. Flared it now out there and got it to drop the for the base here. hit. I think he Jillian. got it off the handle Jillian. just a little bit, but the bat held up for him enough to get something behind that swing.
Here's Joey Gallo. This guy has turned into a beast. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. Two outs. That misses the zone. Yeah, that's ball two. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Next pitch is downstairs. And that's through there for a strike. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. The next offering finds the zone of the count is full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Giancarlo Stanton flexing that big-time power swing. And the lead is now 5-0. Back here in Cleveland, bottom of the inning, stepping up for the Guardians, Andres Jimenez. For the Guardians, the and the pitch. Stop. Andres Jimenez. That one misses, and that's ball one. The wind of the pitch. And yeah, that's outside. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Swing and a miss, 98 on the gun. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And he deals. Stays alive. 2-2. Two -two. And it's fouled away. <laughs> On the ground right side. LeMayhew gets it to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now well, he's doing a nice job no of keeping field. the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with oh, another no. ground ball. Good execution. Mercado up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. And the 1-0. And a ground ball to first. And that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. The throw into second, but he's in there easily. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him. So that one has to feel good. I really yeah. like that swing, that man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. And it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Owen Miller digs in for the Guardians. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Runner at second, two down. The next offering misses, and it's a ball to strike. There's a strike. Swings and misses. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. And welcome back. We go to the eighth. Here's DJ LeMayhew. 
the second baseman. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, okay. and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things and makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. The pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. And now it's going to be Kyle Higashioka. And there's a foul ball. LeMayhew aboard here at first with nobody out. Oh, and two as he waves at that oh, one. Ooh, bye. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the now strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Man, at first, Isaiah kiner falefa up to the plate. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Having himself a really now nice game at the plate. The Couldn't get any air under it, but he gone. smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood now on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Trevor Steffen will take over here. Big okay. deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. The 1 0. Good eye right there. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Next offering misses. Three and one. That's a strike. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away down. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. On the ground to the left. Ramirez sends it to first, and that'll do it. Yank. Here in Cleveland, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the speedy catcher, Brian Lavastida. The catcher. The wind and the pitch. Lavastida. That one's in there. It's 0-1. And strike two. Boom, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. Kicks and fires. One ball. Two or two pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. And the righty deals. And a ball oh, evens the count. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Digging in, Miles Straw. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. One down, base is empty. That one the other way, LeMayhew. Tosses to first, two up, two down.
Now batting, second baseman, Ernie Clement. Two outs, base is empty. Ernie Clement now at the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, he's looking to try to finish off eight solid innings out there on the mound. He's just getting to 100 pitches right now, man. It's been so okay, impressive. Down. He's been really good in this one. Here comes a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And that is the third out of the inning. Guardians go down one, two, three. It's five, nothing. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Anthony Rizzo steps Leading to the play. The, the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Stefan back to work. Out towards right center field. Straw gets under it. Puts it away for the out. Woo, he was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Giancarlo Stanton. That one down the line. Ramirez sends it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Two outs, base is empty. Aaron Hicks at the plate. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. Part of the order, 3-4-5 will get their shot at the bottom of the night. It's the Yankees 5 and the Guardians nothing. Back now at Progressive Field. All set for the bottom of the night. Leading off, Jose Ramirez. The third baseman, Jose. And here it comes. There's a strike. He's been so sharp today, even over 100 pitches thrown. His skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. And he's down 0-2 oh, as he swings through it. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Next offering is foul back. Going two now. I got the count one and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away no, with the location there. No, you know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Now it's Fran Miguel Reyes. And first offering is fouled off. And fouled off. The 0 2. And down on strikes. Two gone now. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. One for three. In the air, left side. Gallo moving under this one. He's got it. Ball game. 
The Yankees salvage the finale of this three-game series.